I'm Carlo Mancatelli of Time2 Resources. This video will help you to understand the supply curve. If you want to make notes whilst following the video, why not download the handy PDF note taker? The link can be found in the description box below. The supply curve shows the quantity supplied for a good or service at any given price over a period of time. Producers are those people that create and supply goods and services to a market. At a high price, quantity supplied will tend to be high. As price starts to fall, quantity supplied will decrease. We can illustrate this diagrammatically. As the price of a product rises, quantity supplied will increase. At higher prices, firms are more likely to be able to cover their costs and therefore make a profit. As the price of a product decreases, quantity supplied will also decrease. At a lower price, some firms will be unable to cover their costs. Firms are unlikely to produce if they are making a loss, particularly in the long term. Higher prices therefore provide an incentive for firms to expand production. To find the quantity supplied for a good or service at any given price, we firstly select the price P, shown on the y-axis. We then draw a dotted line towards the supply curve and from the supply curve we draw a dotted line down towards the x-axis to show quantity Q. In economics, when we talk about supply, we're looking at the entire supply curve. When we talk about quantity supplied, we're looking at a specific point on the supply curve which corresponds to a specific price. A change in quantity supplied means a change in the price of a product has led to a change in the quantity supplied that firms are willing and able to supply at a new price. At a price of £10, firms supply 80 units. If price was to increase to £15, supply would also increase to 100 units. This is shown by a movement along the supply curve from 80 to 100 units. Change in any factor other than price that lowers the cost of production, such as a government subsidy, changes in productivity or new technology, is shown by a shift in the supply curve. An increase in supply can be seen by a shift in the supply curve downwards and to the right from S to S1. A decrease in supply can be seen by a shift in the supply curve upwards and to the left from S to S2. Thank you for watching and listening to this video. Demand and Equilibrium are covered on separate videos. If you haven't already done so, why not subscribe to the Time to Resources YouTube channel now?